Hey guys, National Info here. Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest and most influential Holocaust rescuers, Raoul Wallenberg. Let's get started. Raoul Wallenberg was born on August 4, 1912 in Stockholm, Sweden. Wallenberg was a Swedish architect, businessman, diplomat, and humanitarian. He was a good student who ended up going to the University of Michigan, but we're going to skip his early life for this video to get to the reason why he is a hero to so many people. To sum his efforts in World War II up, he led one of the biggest rescue efforts in World War II, saving tens of thousands of Jews. Wahlberg was brought in by the U.S. War Refugee Board, the WRB, in June 1944 to go to Hungary. He was given status as a diplomat by the Swedish legation. Wahlberg's duty was to do what he could do to help as many Hungarian Jews as he could. He arrived in Budapest, Hungary in 1944 and began distributing Certificates of Protection, or Schutz Passes, to Jews. Schutz Passes served as Swedish passports and provided protection from deportation for any, any person who had one. Wallenberg gave out at least 15,000 of these forged identification papers in a six-month period. He was able to travel freely because he was a diplomat of a neutral country in the war, Sweden. Wallenberg did all his work at the Swedish Embassy in Hungary. Hungarian officials forced thousands of Hungarian Jews to march with the Austrians to the West Hungarian border. Wallenberg personally intervened in the fall of 1944 to help a lot of these people get released because they had certificates of protection or forged papers. He also saved many Hungarian Jews by hiding them in hospitals, nurseries, and a soup kitchen, all of which he made using the funds he received from the U.S. War Refugee Board and Sweden. He was a hero of World War II and helped save tens of thousands of Hungarian Jews. Wallenberg has been honored in many ways in the United States. He was awarded U.S. citizenship in 1981 and the street that the Holocaust Museum is on was named after him in 1985. His death, however, was still and still is very complicated. The date he died is still unknown, but the last time he was seen was January 17, 1945. Wallenberg was called the Soviet headquarters in Debrecen, Hungary. The last known thing he said was he was not sure if he was going to Debrecen as a guest or a prisoner. He was found later dead in a prison cell, and the Soviets said he died of a heart attack. Recently, a diary of a senior Soviet official was published, and it says that the Soviets had intentions of killing Wallenberg. That information shows that the Soviets were lying about Wallenberg's heart failure, and that Wallenberg was probably murdered. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot about Raoul Wallenberg as I did while making it. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks to all of the websites that made this video possible, all of their links will be down below. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, links are down below. Finally, big thanks to my history teacher, Dr. Schiller, for inspiring this video on Raoul Wallenberg. See ya!